It's not hard to spot vacant office spaces throughout downtown San Francisco. The vacancy rate is 30%. That's a record. Before the pandemic, it was about 5%. So we had the hottest office market in the country before the pandemic. We were one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, one of the top two. And then it really did a 180 during the pandemic. Our ABC7 News data team confirms office vacancies in the broader San Francisco metro area nearly tripled from 6.3% vacancy rate in the first quarter of 2019 to 17.2% vacancy rate in the first quarter of 2023. Now the good news about downtown San Francisco is that the talent really hasn't left the Bay Area. Ted Egan, chief economist for the city of San Francisco, says AI is giving the city hope. But how realistic is it? Job postings may give us a clue. We just looked at generative AI, chat GPT, and the new models that are attracting so much attention. We found that 24%, 25% of all job postings in the nation were in the Bay Area. According to Brooking Institution, a nonpartisan think tank in Washington, D.C., the vast majority of AI job postings are in the city. There are a lot of accounts of people actually moving back to the Bay Area to participate in the generative AI boom. And I think that a lot of this work is early stage work where you want to be directly in the office. There's also growing interest in vacant office space. According to data from the real estate tech firm VTS, there's been a slight bump in commercial real estate demand in the city. The numbers show a 10.2% increase. It's kind of like a leading indicator of people signing leases. So yeah, it's great news that people are looking for space. The Four Seasons Embarcadero is located within the 345 California office building. Lately, they've noticed an uptick in business. We see a couple of breakfast meetings happening, lunch meetings happening. I'm just really hoping that the uh, additional uh, interest of uh, AI businesses coming to uh, San Francisco and downtown.